Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Summer Barnes. If you're new, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. On this channel, you will find all things thrift related because your girl is all about sustainability, okay? In addition to fashion, you'll also find lifestyle content. So make sure you hit that subscribe button, turn on your notifications by clicking the bell so that you don't miss the awesome content that I am putting out for you guys on a regular basis. Now, without further oh lipstick on my finger without further ado let's get into today's video now today's video i'm very excited about it's been a minute since i've done an actual fashion related video my last few videos if you guys are up to date have just been really just vlogging and lifestyle and so on and so forth but today i am here to give you guys tips and tricks on how to look a little more put together while you are working from home the work wardrobe from home many of us tend to stay in our robes and our pajamas because we want to be what comfortable we want to be comfortable okay we don't want things that are itchy or restrictive or are going to be hot make us sweat so on and so forth so when working from home and i want to look a little more put together there are several factors that i take into account when i'm picking my outfit for the day so for one you want your clothing to be comfortable so you want materials that are breathable you want materials that stretch you want materials where you can move about the house and not feel restricted especially like myself if you have children you're going to be picking up toys or you know picking up a baby or running after a toddler whatever the case may be and so i used to think that oh i would like to get dressed at home but i have kids and the things that i see other people wear around the house i can't wear that because you know whatever the case may be but i just found what works for me so with that being said i want to advise you guys to find what works for you stick to the fashion that you like the colors that you like the fabrics that you like some of the suggestions and some of the outfits that i have today may not be to your particular taste but that's okay i'm just here to give you motivation so that you too can feel better about yourself and not be in your pjs seven days a week because we don't know how long we're going to be in the situation that we're in i want to remind you guys to give yourself permission okay give yourself permission to wear whatever you want to wear a lot of times i hear people in public say or some of my clients say oh i don't have a place to wear this to or oh i'm saving this for this particular occasion or, or if this or if that or when this or when that hati let me tell you wear what you want to wear when you want to wear it okay the only reason you need to wear a garment is that because you want to wear it okay and i stress that i stress that point because some people may say like summer are you really getting dressed and you're in the house yes ma'am without further ado let's get into the outfits the first outfit on the list is this dress here and i forgot to tell you guys that what i'm showcasing today are dresses skirts and um a pair of shorts so when i'm picking items i want them to, i want to be able to move about so dresses tend to be flowy and non-restrictive depending on what type of dress same thing with skirts i can easily sit down and get up and so on and so forth so first things on the list are dresses so this dress here was a gift so this particular garment is not thrifted um but i would say it is second hand because it was previously owned by a friend of mine but anywho um so it's navy blue and it has brown flowers with green leaves and i can wear it flowy or i can belt it and i tend to belt it so i didn't have the belt that it came with but what i did was i got some material from my local craft store um, and then i just belted it and it looks lovely it's an off the shoulder situation and i think it's perfect for spring and moving into summertime the seasons are continuing to come and go and change regardless of where we are in the world or in the house <laughs> so there will be times we have to run errands so a dress is perfect and i absolutely love it it's breathable it's flowy it's not too tight i can sit up i mean i can sit down and stand up 
multiple times throughout the day without being uncomfortable. And if I'm sitting and working at my desk, this will still work. The next item that I have on the list are actually two items. So I have this dress here, this brown dress that I thrifted while I was in Vegas several months ago. And I really like it. Now on its own, it's very cute in my opinion. But in the clip, you will see that I put a belt on it just to add a little extra oomph, okay? Now, this dress is slightly see-through. So what I did is I put on a body, a nude bodysuit underneath and it worked perfectly. Um, and so I really like this dress. Um, my, a friend of mine is not, <laughs> she's not a fan of this dress. She has told me that this dress looks like I have a rich husband who cheats on me. <laughs> Those are her exact words. Uh, but if you know my friend Jade, you know, like that's just her sense of humor. But anywho, um, I love it. I think it's great. That's what I said. Girl, <laughs> close my door. Uh, and then my child. It's, it's hard to film in a house full of weirdos. Anywho. Yes, sir. Close the door. <laughs> Now, if you guys know me, then you know that I am all about maximizing my wardrobe, styling pieces multiple ways. So I say that to say that, bam, the nude bodysuit is back again. Now, how I style this particular outfit is this green skirt here. And let me undo this here. So this green skirt here has somewhat of like a paper bag look to it. Um, comes up kind of high on the waist and it's cute on its own but yet again in the clip you will see that I belted the skirt and it buttons all the way down the front and so I paired that with this nude bodysuit I love neutrals I also love color but I really love neutrals and I think it's just very simple like I said, uh, both of these garments are very comfortable. The bodysuit is very stretchy. The skirt is flowy, it's not tight. And I just think it was a great combo. This next outfit, I could definitely wear to the office if I had an office to go to. <laughs> um, but in any event, uh, so this black blouse here originally came from the, uh, the Limited and I thrifted it of Course, and I really like it. It's just very simple, very sleek, and it just falls on me very beautifully. I really love it. And I paired it with this textured uh, pencil, yeah, pencil skirt, a textured pencil skirt. So the background is blue and I'm sorry, the background is black. And then it has uh, this blue detailing, if you will, and it kind of like a 3D image if you will because it pops off the skirt and I really love it and I thrifted this skirt as well. I've had this skirt for a really long time and I just think it's really cute. Uh, it def When I put this outfit on it definitely gave me the vibe of I'm actually leaving the house to go to the office which is a great feeling. Um, so I really like it. There's not much more I can say about it. Now, this next pair of shorts you will see for this current outfit as well as the next one because, once again, maximizing the wardrobe. This shirt here I thrifted while I was in San Diego, uh, probably like a, maybe like two years ago. And I absolutely love it. It buttons down the front, but it has somewhat of a asymmetrical hem, if you will. Um, there's the back of it and you just bring, I'm struggling over here. Let me put these shorts down for a second. <laughs> um, you bring these two together with the extra material and you just, you tie it and I absolutely love it. Sometimes I will just tie like maybe the first two buttons and um, uh, have like my midsection showing or I button it all the way down and just tie it here at the bottom. However, for this particular outfit, I tucked this shirt into, I tucked this into the jean high-waisted shorts that I have, which you'll see in the clip. But the shirt is striped and it probably looks black on camera. Not sure how it's showing up for you guys, but it's definitely a 
navy blue with an off-white uh, stripes, if you will. And then the high-waisted shorts here, I absolutely love, 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 love. So they're pretty basic, very simple, but definitely gives me, you know, that 90s vibe, high waist, no pockets in the back cinches you in at the waist hunty and who doesn't want to be snatched okay um so yeah i have wore these shorts a million and one times and i will wear them a million and one more because i just absolutely love them i like high-waisted anything on my particular body type i'm very busty and top heavy and curvy which is Never a bad thing, honey, okay? Um, <laughs> but I just like things that bring me in at the waist sometimes, okay? So, that's that on this particular outfit. And last but not least, we have the infamous white shirt. Everybody has a white shirt in their closet, okay? Of some shape, form, or fashion, okay? <laughs> now, this shirt originally came from Gap but I thrifted this a while ago and I just love it it's very just simple and effortless it's breathable uh great for the spring summer hot days so on and so forth and I also paired this white shirt with the blue jean high-waisted pair of shorts that you guys just saw and you'll see it in the clip as well and this outfit is cute on its own but I love to add accessories just to give a little a little extra oomph to the outfit, okay? So with that being said, I added a belt to this particular outfit and I absolutely love it. Um, now, some of you may be thinking like summer jeans, whether it's pants or shorts, that's not really my number one pick for roaming around the house and getting things done. Typically, yes, and there are some jeans of mine that are a little more restrictive that I will not wear around the house. However, the jean shorts, they are not relatively tight, and to me, they're comfortable, and I can go about my day and do the things that I need to do in them. The last tip of advice that I want to give you guys is... The upside to being at home and not being able to be out and about as often as we're used to is that you have time to play in your closet, okay? A lot of times when people look at the outfits that I put together or how I mix prints and patterns and colors, it's like, oh my gosh, that's so beautiful. I never would have thought of that, so on and so forth. Well, the way I'm able to create my outfits and come up with things is playing in my closet. Now, don't get me wrong, I know that just because we're at home doesn't mean that we don't have things to do, take care of children, be attentive to our spouses, homework if you're in school, just work in general if you're working from home. So there are still a lot of things that are going on in our lives and in the world. I am not negating that fact at all. I just want to encourage you guys to take some time, set aside some time. You make time for what you want to make time for. So make time to just play in your closet and mix and match pieces. A lot of times we get tired of our wardrobes because we get into the mundane, the routine of, okay, I like this skirt with this top, or I typically wear these pants with this blouse. Well, take some time to mix and match, match and play in your closet and you'll be surprised the different combinations that you come up with. You definitely can create new outfits without spending more money to do so. It's what I do all the time and I encourage you guys to do the same. Maximize your wardrobe. That is all that I have for you guys today. Make sure you're following me on social media. I have recently come out with a curated collection of clothing. So if you're interested in purchasing or checking that out, I will leave that information down in the description box as well. And if you are interested in personal styling and you just need some assistance with revamping your wardrobe or just a whole new wardrobe, I will also leave all of that information down in the description box. As always, make sure you do something that your future self will thank you for and I will see you guys soon. Bye!